Hey guys, Mr. Wimp, we're back again. Um, this time, uh, in our last video, we covered some of the basics of circuit theory, so we looked at uh, voltage, current, and resistance, and now we're going to figure out what exactly we do with those. So there's something called uh, Ohm's Law that we're going to deal with, and HM's Law. Okay, so Ohm owns this law. And basically it states that I is equal to V over R. Now, what the heck are these numbers? Well, we can pretty much infer that uh, V is voltage. Okay, We know that R is resistance. So that leaves I, and I is another way of stating amperage uh, or current. Okay, so current is usually measured in amperage, but it is also has a, a symbol of I. So this is current. And we're going to put A like that. Okay, so those are three. Ohm's law is right here. All right, there's a couple ways that you can look at this. Um, basically, if I were to draw a circuit, so we have, um, we'll say this is positive, and then we have a resistor in there and it goes to negative so our circuit might do something like this okay um, I know that the we have a voltage I know that this is R there's only one so it's R1 it's a resistor 1 okay and I also know that I have a current of electricity and that's I right there okay so that's that's basically what it would look like now there's kind of a, a neat trick I know that um, you have I equals V over R. You could also do, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, well, th there's an easier way to do this. So if you uh, take um, V and you make this little triangle deal, and you do I R, you set it up like that. Basically, if you cover up one of these, that you want to find. So if I want to find voltage, I would cover up voltage and I'm left with I times R. If I want to find resistance, I have V over I. And then the same thing if I want to find current, I have V over R. Okay. So this little guy right here, um, it comes in many forms. You'll see it in triangles. I like to draw it in just a nice little circle. Uh, and I also, and this isn't correct, I like to say V equals I times R. And that's, you know, that, that may be um, correct, but uh, it's, you know, you separate this thing into three ways. And you just cover up with your thumb the one you want. So V over I times R uh, is, is what that kind of looks like, or V over I R. is not necessarily an equation, but that's what it looks like. Okay, so that's our Ohm's Law. So let's put Ohm's Law into practice here. Let me move the screen down a little bit. And we've got a, a sample problem. Okay, so we're going to draw up a flashlight. So let's see. Flashlight looks kind of like this. I don't know. And a little yellow sunbeams. So there's our flashlight. And this flashlight uses a... Um, 6 volt battery so we have 6 volts in the system the bulb that's in here has a resistance of 150 ohms okay so we have 6 volts 150 ohms that's R this is V okay when the flashlight is on how much current are we going to pull through this battery so our current is I and we don't know. Okay, so we're going to use Ohm's law to figure that out. So if we scroll back up and look, V over I R. So if we take V over I R is what Ohm's law looks like. Um, we're trying to solve for I, so we cross out I. So we get I equals. Well, we have V over R. So V over R, and we start plugging these in, and we see that this guy. Oops, this guy actually goes under here, and this guy 
comes right there. So what's it look like? Well, it looks like I is equal to voltage 6 volts over 150 ohms. Okay. So if we uh, calculate that out, we do 6 divided by 150, and that equals uh, 0.04 amps. Okay, so the, the symbols don't really matter. Now, 0 0.04 amps does not work for our situation because we talked about earlier we need proper SI notation. So, uh, in order to make this a whole number, we have to move this decimal over. So, if we move it over one, two, three spaces, we end up with uh, 40, and let's see, that is milli. So, 40 milliamps is how much amperage our flashlight will use. Okay? So there's Ohm's law for you. Now, I did that with a nice little diagram so that worked. Okay? So Ohm's law works the same way. If I were to replace any of these numbers, I could say, well, how many volts does it use if I have this many ohms and, and this much amperage? Okay? So that's how Ohm's law works. And, and it, like I said, I like to just write it out. You might find some other way to do it. Works in a triangle or a circle. Okay. The next step is our circuits themselves. Um, we have two kinds of circuits. We have parallel circuits and we have series circuits. So series and parallel. Okay. So a series circuit if we just draw resistors, we have our, our positive, and then we've got this wire going along. It goes over to negative. In a series circuit, you're going to have everything has to go through everything. So I've got R1, R2, R3, and R4. And if for electricity to get to the other side, it has to go through all of these. Now, a parallel circuit is a little bit different. A parallel circuit, you have your positive here, and what ends up happening is you have multiple ways for that electricity to travel through to its other side. So maybe it has to go through here, but if this is blocked, some of it's going to go over here. Some of it's still going to get through, and then maybe some is over here. So now you have R1, R2, and R3 over here, and you have to calculate these um, a little bit differently. Okay, so if we're looking at a series circuit over here, let me change to purple. Huh? We'll see what purple looks like. Okay, the total resistance or R T, that's total resistance, is equal to the sum of all the resistances. So R 1 plus R2, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? That gives us an RT. So total resistance, this is how we find out what a current might be. All right? And then let's see. So we have this little thing with a series circuit called Kirchhoff. And Kirchhoff's law, kind of running out of room here. Uh, let me scroll down just a little bit. So... Uh, Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law, H-O-F-F, -F. okay, there's Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law says that the sum of the voltage drops is equal to the total voltage applied, okay? So, basically what I have to do, so... The, the total voltage is uh, equal to VR1, so the voltage of resistor 1, plus the voltage at resistor 2, plus the voltage at resistor 3, so on, so on, and so on. Okay? What that means is I have to use Ohm's law on each one of these resistors in order to find out what is VR1, what is VR2, 2, what is VR3, 
and what is VR4. Okay. Once I know all those little guys, I can add all those up, and that'll give me a total voltage. Those will equal VT. Okay. Once I know my total voltage, I can solve total resistance by adding up my resistors. And if I know voltage and resistance, the only thing I don't know is current. And I can go ahead and solve for current. All right. So that's pretty much Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. Kirchhoff also has another law. Um, that works in a parallel circuit, which uh, we'll go over in just a moment. Let's see. Let me uh, move this guy around. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, Kirchhoff's current law. Let's see. We'll use a new color for that. We used blue, so I guess we'll go back to the uh, trusty green here. So now we have um, Kirchhoff's current law, and basically... Uh, we look at some different things. So um, the voltage across, so let me write this down first. Current law. Okay. Now Kirchhoff's laws, they're different from each other. They're, they, need to, they need to stay different. The first thing we need to know about Kirchhoff's current law is that the voltage um, is the same on everything. So the voltage, whatever the voltage starts at, it's going to be the same on everything. So it's equal across all components. So the voltage at R1, if it's a 6 volt system, it's going to be 6 volts here, 6 volts on R2, 6 volts on R3. So it's uh, same on everything. Okay, so it doesn't change. So voltage doesn't change. That's a good thing. Okay, um, the total resistance, so RT, this one's where it's a little tricky. The total resistance is equal to the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocal. Whoa, what does that mean? Okay, so the reciprocal, 1 over, um, what's it say? It's the, the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocal. So we're doing this twice. So 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So we have this number, this number, and this number added up. We take 1 over that number. That gives us our total resistance. We already know voltage. That means we can go ahead and solve for current. Okay, And the sum of all currents is equal to the total current. So if you find the current on each one, we have this resistor. Um, we can find the sum of that, and we should be good to go. So let's see, total resistance, voltage, uh, the sum of the currents in each branch. So IR1 uh, plus IR2 plus IR3 is equal to total current. So in this situation, um, we're adding up the I's. So let's see, IT, total current, is equal to I. R1 plus I R2 plus I R3. Okay, so there's our uh, laws, our three laws, I guess. We have, uh, we'll go back to Ohm's Law, and there's an example of Ohm's Law. Then we did uh, on series circuits and parallel circuits, we had Kirchhoff's voltage law. And I left an L out. Let me fix my spelling here. There we go. Voltage law. And we also, same guy, Kirchhoff, has a current law. And those allow us to find um, our amperage, resistance, and voltage on parallel and series circuits. Okay? So, let's see here. I guess we need one example. 